Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Tell you about aphids. Aphids are very small, only a few millimeters long, soft bodied insects. They have two little tubes at the end of the abdomen called cornicles. They have small eyes and sucking mouth parts. They are often green, but may be red, black, or brown. They move slowly and don't jump or hop. They usually have fairly long antenna. Aphids live from a few weeks to a few months. Aphids are sometimes called green flies. There are about 4,000 different species of aphid. About 280 species are serious pests for agriculture and forestry, as well as annoyance for gardeners. Aphids are found in many places on Earth. Aphids are most common in temperate zones. Aphids can travel far in the air. For example, the lettuce aphid spread from New Zealand to Tasmania. They also have been spread by human transportation of infested plant materials. Aphids are almost only found on or near plants. If they can, they sometimes hide in the curls of leaves. Anywhere there are plants, there are aphids. Aphids have incomplete metamorphosis. Young aphids look a lot like adults, but don't have wings. Aphids often have complicated life cycles. An adult female can produce daughters without breeding, and each of their daughters can do the same thing. So their relations grow fast, but as the seasons progress, some produce sons and daughters that have wings. And these I apply to new or different food plants to breed and produce eggs that survive the winter and hatch the next spring. The hatchlings may reproduce without breeding and then their offspring move back to their original host set species. Aphids are often found in groups. They reproduce fast and don't move unless they need to. They feed day and night. Winged aphids can fly, but they are so weak that all they can do is lift up into the air. They can't fly against the wind. They are so small that they can drift high in the sky. Some have been collected thousands of feet up, and they can drift on the wind for hundreds of miles. Aphids communicate mainly with chemicals, though they may use touch and sight as well. Aphids are herbivores. They suck plant juices out of the leaves, stems, or roots of plants. The juices they drink often have much more sugar than protein. Aphids have to drink much more sugary juice to get enough protein that they excrete a lot of sugar. They don't need it. The sugary fluid they excrete is called honeydew, and many other insects feed on it. Single plants host hundreds or even thousands of aphids, offering predators a real smorgasbord of snacks. Aphid eaters include ladybugs, also known as lady beetles, lace wings, minute pirate bugs, hoverfly larvae, big eyed bugs, damsel bugs, and certain stinging wasps, among others. When a predator is detected, aphids hide, and if they detect a predator, they produce a chemical that warns other aphids to smell it. They try to walk or fly away. Some aphids produce chemicals that taste bad and grow waxy threads that make them hard to eat. Aphids may look defenseless, but they don't go down without a fight. Aphids are expert kickboxers and will pummel their pursuers with their hind feet. Some aphids bear spines that make them challenging to chew on, and others are merely thick-skinned. Aphids are also known to go on the offensive, grabbing the eggs of predatory insects to kill their enemies in vitro. If all else fails, 
If it's stop, drop, and roll off their host plant to escape predation. Aphids are one of the worst groups of pests on plants. They damage plants directly by feeding on them, and they also carry plant diseases from plant to plant. There can be millions and millions of aphids in a farmer's fields. Nymphs and adults feed on plant juices, attacking leaves, stems, buds, flowers, fruit, and or roots, depending on the species. Most aphids especially like succulent new growth. Some such as the green peach aphid feed on a variety of plants, while others such as the rosy apple aphid focus on one or just a few plant hosts. How to get rid of aphids? By spraying infested plants with a strong cream of water, sometimes all aphids need is a blast to dislodge them. Typically, they are unable to find their way back to the same plant. Neem oil, insecticidal soaps, and horticultural oils are effective against aphids. But these substances need to come into contact with the aphids in order to work. Be sure to follow the application instructions provided on the packaging. You can often control aphids by wiping or spraying the leaves of the plants with a mild solution of water and a few drops of dish soap. Soapy water should be reapplied every two to three days or two weeks. Insecticidal and horticultural oil, these are the least likely to cause damage to the environment or people. However, you still need to follow the label instructions for how to get rid of aphids. Insecticidal soaps and horticultural oil will kill aphids that must be applied regularly during heavy infestation. Since aphids reproduce so quickly, these products will only kill aphids when they come into direct contact. You'll need to reapply frequently until pests are completely gone and don't forget to spray the undersides of the leaves as well as the top. Preventing large numbers of aphids from making themselves at home is possible. In addition to ensuring your plants have the water, light, and nutrients they need to stay healthy, there are a few more ways to help keep aphid numbers down. Make a habit of checking your plants every other day or so for any sign of aphids. That way, you'll catch the problem before it can get out of hand and become much harder to remedy. Protect young plants in your vegetable plot in the spring with floating row covers. These will keep aphids and many other insect pests out allow air, light, and moisture to reach your plants. Remove the row covers when your seedlings are several inches tall, warm, and temperatures heat up in summer. You may be watching for aphids on your plants. These insects can also get a foothold in your garden by infesting weeds. And it's only a matter of time before they spread to your vegetables and flowers. So be diligent and keep up with weeding around your plants. Some weeds such as thistle and mustard appear to be especially attractive aphids. Plant flowers including marigolds, glandula, sunflower, daisy, alisum, or dill, thereby to attract beneficial insects that love to feed on aphids. Ladybugs and lacewings are especially effective at devouring them. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids. What did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous. Adventurous.